All right, we're back again. I'm, I'm the Chuck. roommate. That's Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Dizzle, and we got Young T, aka Trevor. So uh, we're last time before we left off, we were uh, the top discussing jobs or whatnot, and uh, our young, young T, was going to be left off with his whole John McCain speech. So we're going to let him talk about George Bush and the economy. Continue. Yeah, I was speaking on inflation. If you look at the last video, I got cut off at the end. Anyway, like I was saying about inflation, prices go up. People have no money. You buy things, but you don't, look, if people don't have any money, they don't buy anything. So the government constantly pushing out money. Nobody's buying anything. No money's coming back. Like for example, when the government did the um, go well, those three front checks. Remember those? Yeah. Did you do it? No, uh, I didn't get one. I didn't make enough money. Did you pay taxes? Yeah, but they said I didn't make enough money. To I got one anyway. So, um, like right. when that happened, they put out well, each person got what? Yeah, this is last year, right? Yeah, yeah each person got six hundred dollars get given to them. That money was never put back to the economy. Everybody knows that. The driver's still in the look at it. It's got the coach. It's probably in your drug dealer's hands right now. Okay, so, um, right. Alright, but all right, no. I got a yeah, I right. got a question for you. So if George Bush and his what what do you call him? His um cabinet? Yeah, just look at it. You will D cabinet? Um if they did all of this, why would you want to put another Republican in there for another four years? Because there's a big difference between John McCain and George W. Bush. But the they have similar attributes. I like, 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 I like, quote, Barack, like, I quote like, Barack Obama. Hold on. Like, Hold on. like what? Hold on, let me tell you. Okay, good. I quote Barack Obama. He said, 90% of what George W. Bush did, John McCain agrees with it. This is a direct quote. Hold on. This is a direct quote okay. from his DNC speech. Y'all can look that up on YouTube everywhere. We're going to post the link to that video in the sidebar, which is over here. So, uh, when the video is done, click on that. And he did say himself that John McCain agrees with 90% of what George Bush said, or it does. So, I'm saying, well, I put another guy in there. Like, like, um, he's a Republican, and they just, I just say, they just can't be trusted. They say things and don't do it. Like, I didn't. We, I thought we were going to the uh, going to Iraq to get a Osama bin Laden, and we ended up. Or oh, what, what was his name? Saddam Hussein. They yeah. they said that they had uh, nuclear weapons. I see his weapons of mass destruction. Ma weapons of mass destruction. I'm sorry. That that's my fault. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction, which was not true at all. UN sent in inspectors. They didn't find anything. And so why are we still over there? Because. Why? Those people, sense. those people can't police the area. We can't go in there where there was some sort of peace and then leave it with anarchy. That doesn't make any sense. But we shouldn't have never went in there in the first place. Yeah. But we had no, we we had no hard evidence because we had hard evidence. We would have found something. But we had no hard evidence. It was just spectating because of what happened Look, with 9 11. Everybody knows we went into Iraq to get to down. Job was done. He was hung. The video was on YouTube. It's not on there anymore. If it was, I put the link up, but I can't. If you look online, you'll probably find a video. Well, we need another topic from the independent. Okay, the independent is back. All right, topic number two. We've already. And by the up. way, so I was saying I'm not doing nothing. Continue. Wow. Actually, you know, you can say what you want to say about this, but I am about to speak some real stuff about 9/11. I'm going to say 9/11 was Ameri was not well, yeah it was America's fault. Thank you. Wait, elaborate. Thank you. Elaborate. I'm going to elaborate. Elaborate. And young Charles said itself, and I've done research on this. Tell me, why do you have bomb dogs there? And then you they they all of a sudden they're not there on that particular day. And then tell me why 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 is your president reading? And then somebody comes into whispers in his ear. Now we're on the same page, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what does he do when they whisper to him about 9-11? He thinks about it. 
And then okay, so he's reading right. Okay, but reading. do you know? What and if y'all don't believe it, there's an episode of Family Guy that will prove Family Guy. This guy is the Family Guy for proving Family Guy. Okay, but there is a video on YouTube somewhere. That I, shows I myself, the Republican, will post a link over here somewhere. Don't trust him because he's Republican. <laughs> <laughs> no, the real. There is, there is. Uh, oh. If you saw the big black hand that hit me, that's, that's you, the way that they didn't see the hand. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah. I just saw you move. But yeah, so, like, why? I mean, why what? What the why? independent was saying, yeah. what my roommate D was saying. Yes, please. I'm, I'm articulate. What my, my roommate D was saying. He's trying to articulate words. Like I was saying, if I was really interrupted by the gay guy over here, Chuck. <laughs> that's Chuck. I'm trying. You know that. Like, my name is first on the list of Trump, Trump, look it up. They've been, they were telling us these whole entire time that a day like this was was going to become upon us. So why not already be prepared? You know, don't get me wrong. Yes, we, you know, when it came down to it, we stuck together as a, as a nation or whatnot. You know, we all overcome, united together, you know what I'm saying? But why? Why is it must? We, why is it must? We must be united only in big situations. So can we? I'm saying, can we get about a topic to where we can be? Can, can, I, speak, can, I, speak, can I speak on this? Can I speak on this? No, you cannot. We're about to get it. Yes, we're, we're about to get it. About to get it. Okay. okay. War. Get back to the game. All right. You went first last time, Barack. Let's get it. War. All right. War. Okay. Okay, I'm saying Barack Obama, he's saying that he's not going to instantly pull him out, but he's going to pull him out over time. But jo John McCain is like, he's saying he'd rather, what did I call him? John saying, McCain's like, no, 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 no. he'd rather, rather lose, a, lose an election rather than lose a war. Which, saying that, which he is saying that we are at war. Yeah, yeah, it's obvious. We are at war. Everybody knows that. But I'm saying, who are we fighting? I'm saying we're not fighting, it. we're demolishing people. We're, we're not fighting anybody. <laughs> the fighting means two people engaging in the act. There's nobody else fighting us. We're just going over there. Well, technically, let me talk. We are talk. Building. Technically, we're policing the area. No, we're not. We're killing everybody. We're killing everybody? We're killing everybody. We're killing everybody. And that is the way Everybody's dead over there. We're no, no. We're, we, I said we are killing everybody. Okay. I didn't say everybody. Wait, dead. I have a question. Who are we? Who, 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 who's this we? Who, elaborate on, on, on who we is. America, we we have went over there and just killing everybody. So 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 you yourself should complain in Iraq or Afghanistan kill somebody. I didn't say. I said America. We are like 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 because we are united as one. Okay. So which which is saying that I you know complain with Afghanistan. We are, no, what, what what the Marine does down in Iraq or whatever that that represents us. No. Our decision, because our government that represents us had them go down there. Okay. That represents us. No. So we are united. Our government represents us as individuals. Well, we can't. We can't. We can't, we, can't we can't each. We can't each. We can't each represent ourselves, because that would be too many representatives. So we have other people represent us for us, so that when stuff goes down in Iraq, that comes back upon okay, us. Okay, but let's but let's talk seriously now. Before this year, nothing we said mattered. Correct? Correct? Could you were only 17. Not correct. Therefore, we didn't have the right to vote for anybody. Not correct. So, therefore, the people put in office have nothing to do with me or you. Not correct. Or of your other yeah, we Do we have families? Okay. Do we have mothers and fathers? So, so you're telling me that your so mother and or father voted because of what you told them to do? No, because of how my life affects them. My life affects my mom and my dad. Okay. So, if, say if. Uh, I go out when I was 17, and I go out and rob a bank. Mm -hmm. my, I'm not going to get, I'm, I'm going to get accused for it, but my parents are going to be under heat because of that as well, because I'm an underage. Yeah, but you go to jail. But I go to jail, but my parents will be still under heat, so they have to account for me. As By well. the way, we live in the state of North Carolina, as you know, and, and in the state of North Carolina, um, 16 is the legal age where they can put you in jail. True, but I'm so, saying I'm across the nation. Okay. I'm not saying this in... Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Right. What happened to the type of war? We are talking about type of war. We got this. You said Robin Bank. Talk to him over there. 